nth is equal to so this ao should be equal to ob from the mathematics so what can be this angle also should be 30 degrees then what should be the this angle then this angle should be 60 degrees directly let me write here this angle should be equal to 60, 60 degrees go this so now the weight mg will act here don't don't bother anything just here to take help of the the basic diagram keep it like this you know Uh, what is the spring elongated or compressed can we find out uh, ab anybody from so uh, this is equal to r no so 2r cos 30 should be the length ab sir ab is already given no sir spring length is r no 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 read, read once 2r cos 30 is the now length of the spring with elongation so what was the natural length natural length was r so 2r cos 30 how much will be root 3 by 2 so r root 3 is now the length of the spring so how much of elongation natural length of the spring is how much equal to r so what is the elongation in the spring will be it should be less than less than this value getting that one length of the spring is given with with elongation it is now is it elongation or compression length of the spring is r but the Uh, initial length of the spring is r natural length of the spring is r now what is the length of the spring it is r root 3 so is there any elongation or compression yes it's elongation elongation means how spring force should act towards the center of the spring so here the spring force i'll show like this so spring force will act in this direction no how to calculate the elongation in the spring that has to be determined okay now so this is about the basic thing he has given so here we will go for like this the elongation in the spring is equal to so shall i write ab minus r length of the spring minus natural length of the spring ab is how much r root 3 minus r so this should be equal to <coughs> r into root 3 minus 1 okay now let's come for the the forces acting on the bead the weight mg is acting how the normal contact should act here so actually how how the uh, what is the condition of the bead and there's a one diagram i am further helping you so you have to be very careful about the diagrams nothing else is there in physics what happens the diagram plays very important role and there's a part of the bead i'm showing part of the ring i'm showing so where is our bead the bead is like this uh, now it it the spring force and the weight they will try to pull the bead no they'll try to pull the bead so therefore the bead will be in contact like this huh? this is the actual diagram tell me i think this is not something where a high fi scientific knowledge just i think uh, uh, many might have have the key chain the ring will be there no when you whirl your finger like this uh, this what happens no in the key chain so you will be doing like this no so take that key chain the uh, ring will be there so try to pull that try to pull and push then you see the conditions okay this is the the state of the bead Got the idea, all of you? Uh, now, uh, tell me, like, a, 
how the normal contact how the normal contact forces so here the normal contact spring force will act like this this is mg the b the, the there's a ring how the ring ring will exert a force the ring will exert a force on the bead in this direction so it will be in what direction the along common normal so along this dotted line because our, our normal contact should act along the diameter getting the idea so th this is the major factor here the the whole problem just revolves around this diagram so when spring is compressed this is the condition okay let's do one thing uh, what is the n is equal to so we should just equate forces no kx cos 30 and uh, what can be this angle this will be 90 this angle will be 30 this angle will be how much 30 degrees so what is n should be equal to no n minus mg cos 30 minus kx cos 30 equal to 0 kx x value of x is how much r Solving this, we'll get n equal to mg root 3 by 2 minus kr. Uh, value of k is given, no? root 3 plus all set equal to 0. And this should be plus here. So mg root 3 by 2. mg by r, no? This is mg by r. Oh, yeah. R get cancelled. So here I'll end up with mg root 3 plus 1, root 3 minus 1, root 3. So this will be 2. So this will become root 3 3 root 3 mg by 2 this is a normal contact is it okay fine so this will be our answer uh, now the tangential aggregation of the bead just after it is released, it is released from rest no any tangential acceleration? Yes, there will be tangential acceleration. What direction will be directed? It will be like this. Which forces will set up tangential acceleration? Normal contact, how the normal contact? The normal contact will act along the diameter of the ring. So it cannot, component of it along the tangential will be zero. So here mg sine 30 will act tangential to the ring and kx sin 30 will act tangential to the ring the forces here <coughs> the same diagram will take it no, nothing wrong we are just see different different types of problems will come this what happens in physics actually uh, sir i know circular motion as everyone knows but the conditions will be different here so just a general observation if you have much better so this is the tangent no okay got this this is a normal so what what are these green color lines blue color line this is the radial direction no radial direction and what about this this will be tangent tangential direction no tangential acceleration so this angle we know 30 degrees this will be 30 degrees so along this direction the tangential acceleration should be 80 should be equal to a b length circle from circle all of you know circle what is the length of the chord a b cos 30 
A B should be equal to what? R into cos thirty. This length is R. R cos thirty. The idea of circles. Okay, A tangential. So what is A tangential? No, A tangential will be. So length A B should be equal to length of the chord. Length of the chord, all of you know, basic idea. Circle. Uh, no, what is a tangential acceleration? M A T should be equal to what are the forces acting? M G sine thirty minus K X sine thirty. K X is equal K is equal to what? Root three minus M G by R R into root three minus one. Oh, let me push it towards the right. X equal to root R, R root three, no. Then one by two. Substituting will get the A tangential. So again, I'll get the G by two. Sir, K is root three plus one. Yeah. Fine. So that uh, I think all of you now got the diagram. Able to understand the diagram. This is uh, now the same problem. Uh, so I'll, 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 I'll show complete ones and make observation and. Sir, in the last equation, it must be plus k x sine thirty minus m g sine thirty. So, what is it? What do you mean by that? Sir, m a t is equal to k x sine thirty minus m g sine thirty. No, sir. Why? Sir, here we are getting minus g by two, sir. Ah, huh, okay, okay then. The ne negative sign, show it opposite, no problem. Okay, it's a negative. Huh? Okay, let it be no problem. Yeah. Sir, how will the beat uh, have retardation, sir, when it is coming down? No, you got minus g by two or plus g by two. Based on that, I'll interpret. Sir, we are getting minus g by two. Minus g by two. What do you mean by retardation? I am really sir, it from this. No. Ah, uh, yeah. Then it uh, moves in the opposite direction, right? See the simplest idea. I am releasing it from this. If the net force is in this direction, if the net force is in this direction, it will move like this. What's wrong with that? What What is the rule that it should move like this on the beat? It can go like this also, no? So if you want to write it, k sine thirty minus mg sine thirty. So negative sine initials. I I I assume that it will move. It will have acceleration like this. No, in fact, it will go like this. That's all over. Nothing to do big. <coughs> okay, now in the same problem, I have not given velocity. No, so if if velocity is given, then what changes you are going to make it? Again, the problem is not at over. The problem is not at. Or if I give velocity to the 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 same thing, somewhere here this will be the center, the bead. Okay, no, no. Let's go for all the forces that are acting. The the same situation, the same situation. <laughs> Just let me introduce the additional things few. Uh, this is the same normal, common normal, and the point O, center of the circle. The weight mg, the spring force. The spring force will act here, and and the normal reaction like this. If I give velocity to this, 
okay so most of okay you are convenient like this okay i'll give velocity here i release from this if i bid if i give velocity then what will be the equations what will be the equations so no longer you can't you can't write you can't just write kx equal to so what you should write the equation should be kx cos 30 sin theta or uh, cos 30 only mg cos 30 minus n equal to mv square r will i agree all of you centripetal force so as it is it is, it is having a velocity no so kx cos 30 minus mg cos 30 minus n equal to mv square r since v was zero therefore we got n now the n will be different value so the bead is released from rest or given velocity. Here, what, what is the condition? The bead is given velocity. What about tangential aggregation? The same thing. There's no problem with the tangential. The bead is given velocity V and released. The problem will change. Then what about tangential aggregation? Same thing. There, there won't be any problem. So everyone wanted like this, no? Okay, I'll bring it. Sir, it will be plus mg cos 13. mg sin 30 by m <coughs> okay fine so look at the mathematics here so whenever you get a problem like this what you should be very careful no is it bead released from rest or given velocity given velocity the equation should be like this now here uh, this is a thing so it can also happen that uh, is the bead so one more situation Note I'll write it. Huh? Not a, this is a, a, a next thing. So one more condition. It can happen also that the rod there's a ring, no? There's a part of the ring I'm showing, not complete the ring. Now, now look at uh, how, how you show normal contact in this case. I think by this time all of you got the idea. If you look at the keychain, no, the keychain will have similar things like. So I'll, I'll slightly slide up. Now, now what are the forces that are acting? Uh, this is the center of the circle. Okay, this is a normal. There's a point too. Now, what are the forces acting? Mg. Spring force, I'll show like this. Spring, uh, there's a different case totally. So, let the spring be the totally different case here. How the normal contact in this case will be acting? The normal contact will be acting in this direction. The force exerted by the ring on the bead will be like this. Here I, I'll say spring elongated. So spring compressed or elongated also matters because that will decide the spring force. Got the idea? So this is some some some. Spring is elongated, then kx should be on the opposite direction. Ah, spring is uh, sorry compressed. Huh? This is I assumed earlier elongated. You know, same thing I was writing. Now you see the difference. Spring is compressed. So omit that compression. Some some.